my head and then pull the trigger come on there's no way I can't your attention please today's train schedule will be modified due to a rail switching malfunction we apologize for any inconvenience the next stop is Iwatodai Tatsumi Port Island. Please board before the scheduled departure time. Welcome. You're late. I've been waiting a long time. If you wish to proceed, sign your name here. It's a contract. There's no need to be scared. All it says is that you accept full responsibility for your actions. Good. Time is something no one can escape. It delivers us all to the same end. You can't plug your ears or cover your eyes. And so, it begins. Are you 
here at this hour? Don't tell me! Wait! I didn't think you'd arrive so late. My name is Mitsuru Kirijo. I'm one of the students who live in the storm. Who's he? He's a transfer student. It was a last minute decision to assign him here. He'll eventually be moved to a room in the boys' dorm. Is it okay for him to be here? I guess we'll see. This is Yukari Takeba. She'll be a second year this spring, just like you. Call me Takeba. Uh, yeah. Nice to meet you, too. It's getting late. You'll find your room at the end of the hall on the second floor. Your things should already be there. Why don't you get some rest? Oh, I'll show you the way. Follow me. Pretty easy to remember, huh? Since it's all the way at the end here. Um, do you have any questions? What kid? What are you talking about? Come on, that's not funny. Uh, can I ask you something? On your way here from the station, was everything okay? You don't know? I guess that means you're fine. Well, okay. Don't worry about it then. I'd better get going. Um, I'm sure you still have questions, but let's save them for later, okay? Good night. Are you awake? Good morning. Did you sleep okay? I've been asked to show you the way to school. Are you ready to go? Great. Let's head out. This is how we'll be getting to school every day. It's a monorail. Pretty cool, huh? I honestly love the ride here. It almost feels like we're flying over the ocean. Oh, by the way, our school's at the last stop on this line. It's called Tatsumi Port Island. Have you heard of it? The whole thing's man-made, and our school's smack dab in the middle. Oh, look! There it is now! Hot 
morning. Well, here we are. Allow me to welcome you to Gekko Khan High School. I hope you like it. You'll be okay on your own from here, right? Let's see. I guess you should go see your homeroom teacher first. The faculty office is over there on the left. They'll tell you more when you get there. Oh, well, that about does it. Any questions before I go? Me? I don't know. I haven't looked at the classroom assignments yet. Hey, about last night. Don't tell anyone what you saw, okay? See you. Are you the new student? Huh. Hmm. You're a second year, correct? Wow, you've lived in a lot of different places. Let's see, 10 years ago, your parents... I'm sorry, uh, I've been so busy, I didn't have time to read this beforehand. I'm Ms. Toriumi. I teach composition. Welcome to our school. You don't need to know my first name. Don't ask such things of a teacher. Have you seen the classroom assignments? You're in 2F, that's my class. But first, we need to go to the auditorium. The welcoming ceremony will be starting soon. Come on, I'll show you the way. And so, another new school year is upon us. I'd like each of you to remember the proverb. If a job's worth doing, it's worth doing well. When applied to student life, this means... Psst. Hey! You came to school with Takeba-san this morning, right? I saw you two walking together. You must be pretty close, huh? What's the deal between you and her? Oh, and, uh... Does she have a boyfriend? <laughs> Nobody seems to know. Ah, man, I knew it. I mean, why wouldn't she, right? Wait, how close are you guys? Who's that? Someone's talking. Yeah, sounds like it's coming from Miss Toriyumi's class. Hey, shh, be quiet. You're gonna get me in trouble. I transferred here when I was a second year in middle school. It's pretty tough being the new kid at first, you know? So I just wanted to say, hey, see what a nice guy I am? <sighs> hey, hey, it's Yucatan! Didn't think we'd be in the same class again. <laughs> there you go again, acting like everybody's best friend. Try not to make him uncomfortable, okay? But I was just being friendly. If you say so. Anyway, who'd have thought we'd be in the same homeroom? Funny, huh? Uh, hello? 
Are you forgetting I'm in this class too? Anyway, I gotta ask. I heard you guys walk to school together. What's up with that? Come on, give me the dirt. Huh? What are you talking about? We just happen to live in the same dorm. Why do people always jump to conclusions? Have rumors been spreading about this already? Now I'm worried. Hey, you didn't tell anyone about you know what, did you? Don't tell me you forgot already. Seriously, don't say anything about last night, okay? between us geez I have to go now there's something I need to take care of for the archery team you better not start any more rumors ah, who cares no one takes rumors seriously anyway she's so paranoid but hey it's your first day here and people are already talking about you believe it or not she's actually pretty popular you the man well, here's to a fun school year, dude. You ready to head out? We can walk to the station together. Yo! Yeah. Go. on their run. Say, you thinking about joining a club? Oh, wait. New members gotta wait a while before they can apply. Your stop's hitting with Todai, right? Forms, man. Must be nice. Talk about living life wild and free. Well, I'm going this way, so see you tomorrow. Welcome back. Yes.
Have you seen the newspapers lately? There's a lot going on. I know. Severe cases of apathy syndrome are suddenly developing in people who showed no symptoms prior. It's been quite a topic of discussion. They say it's due to stress, but... Yeah, right. It's gotta be them. Otherwise, it's not worth my time. You have a one-track mind. Don't worry. I'm just getting a little practice. This isn't a game, Akihiko. He's back! So, this is our new guest. Good evening. My name is Shuji Ikutsuki. I'm the chairman of the board for your school. Ikutsuki. Hard to say, isn't it? That's why I don't like introducing myself. Even I get tongue-tied sometimes. Please, have a seat. I apologize for the confusion regarding your accommodations, but it may take a bit longer before you receive the proper room assignment. Is there anything you'd like to ask? You saw... something strange? Like what? You were probably just tired. I wouldn't worry about it. Any other questions? To welcome you, of course. Speaking... She's up. As diligent as... Is there any... Excellent. Here's to a wonderful school year. Now, if you'll excuse me. I'm sure you're worn out from all these formalities. You may want to consider going to bed early. As they say, the early bird catches the bookworm. <laughs> Get it? Bookworm? <laughs> because you're students? Uh, clever, isn't it? <sighs> You'll get used to his lame jokes. I guess I'll head back to my room, too. Like the chairman said, you should get some rest. Transferring schools is a real pain when you're not used to it. Good night! Hello there. So, how's he doing? He went to bed a little while ago. He's currently fast asleep. Mr. Chairman, do you think he's... Well, let's wait and see for now. The dark hour is approaching. Come on, what do you say? I can't leave a pretty girl standing around in the cold like this. 
What do you think, Naomi? I mean, I'm cool with it, but if my parents found out... You don't need to know. Just drop them a text. It'll be fine. Yeah. Okay, let's do it. Uh, this sucks. <laughs> I'm serious. I was scared yeah, shitless. Right. Nice story, though. That was the Bayside Rockers, brought to you by KJ. And that's all for tonight, folks. Tune in again next week, yeah, same up. time, same place. <laughs> the program you just heard was sponsored by Curijo Electronics, bringing the future to you. The time is now 12 a.m. still sleeping. The dark hour occurs every day at 12 midnight. You could say it's the hidden hour. During this time, an ordinary person transmogrifies into a coffin and is oblivious to all that occurs. Then he must be... As you can see, he's retained his human form. He may be asleep, but he's definitely experiencing the dark hour. The only question that remains is whether or not he has the potential. Though, come to think of it, he must. If he didn't, they would have preyed on him by now. Scary. In any case, we should continue to monitor him for a few more days. Yes, sir. I feel kind of bad, though, spying on him like this. Velvet Room. My name is Igor. I am delighted to make your acquaintance. This is Elizabeth. She's a resident here, like myself. Pleased to meet you. This place exists between dream and reality, mind and matter. Only those who have signed the contract can enter this place. From now on, you shall be welcome here as a guest in the Velvet Room. You were destined to hone your unique ability, and you will require my assistance to do so. I only ask one thing in return. Abide by your contract, and assume full responsibility for the choices you make. Hold on to this. Until we meet again.
Sup? How's it going? Want to stop somewhere on the way home? I don't know. Maybe grab a bite to eat? That's right. You're new around here. No worries. I'll show you. It's just around the corner from here. Let's go. This is Polonia Mall. Whenever I hang out with the guys from school, we end up coming here. There's a karaoke box, an arcade. Oh, yeah, you can rent out CDs, too. And there's that club over there. Not that I've ever done it myself. This place may not look like much, but I'm not complaining. Let's check out the CDs first. Oh, whoa, that's new. I gotta try this. Let me show you my mad crane game skills. Ah, damn it! Oh, come on, man. I am not leaving empty-handed. Dude, I'm gonna look from the side. Yeah, that's it! Yo! One more try. Just one more. Welcome back. How is he? Looks like he's a little worn out. He went to bed without changing out of his uniform. Other than that, nothing has changed since last night. Hmm. Very interesting. Even those who have the potential tend to be unstable at first. Memory loss, disorientation. This subject is rather... unique. He hasn't exhibited any of the common symptoms. But we're treating him like a guinea pig. Oh, don't look at it like that. The two of you are classmates, right? Consider it an opportunity to have someone your own age here. Besides, we need all the help we can get. I guess that's true, but still... Command room speaking. Akihiko, what's wrong? <laughs> You're not gonna believe it. This thing is huge. Unfortunately, it's chasing after me right now. I'm almost back. Just letting you know in advance. Does that mean he's bringing that thing here? Mr. Chairman, that's enough observation for now. We need to prepare for combat. Uh, right. Be careful. Akihiko! Ah! I'm all right. Get ready to be surprised. It'll be here any second. This is no time to joke around. Is it one of them, Sanada-kun? Yeah, but not an ordinary one. Ah! What was that? You've got to be kidding me! Mr. Chairman, please head for the command room. Takeba, go upstairs and wake him up. Then escape out the back. But what about you two? We'll stop it here. You're the one who led it to us, Akihiko. So I'm going to have you fight. It's not like I asked it to follow me. What are you waiting for, Takeba? Go! Uh, okay. Wake up! Guys, I'm coming in. There's no time to explain. 
plane. We have to get out of here now. Hurry! To the first floor! We'll leave through the back. Oh, wait! Take this, just in case. Okay, let's go. All right, we should be safe now. Takeba, do you read me? Y yes I hear you! Be careful. There appears to be more than one enemy. The primary one's lurking somewhere nearby. What? Uh, oh, let's pull back! What are we gonna do? It's at the front door! Should we go upstairs for now? Okay. Getting to safety is our priority now. Sorry. It's here. <laughs> Wait.
earth was that? It's so good to see you again. You lost consciousness after awakening to your power. Ooh, I see that it was Orpheus who heeded your call. Very interesting. That was the power of Persona, the manifestation of your psyche. A persona is a facet of your personality that surfaces as you react to external stimuli. You can think of it as a mask that protects you as you brave many hardships. The power of a persona is the power of one's soul. And the soul is fueled by the depth of one's bond. As you form these bonds by becoming involved with others, your own social links will gradually develop. The strength of these social links will foster the growth of your persona abilities. Please remember this. Now then, time marches on in your world. I shouldn't keep you here any longer. Next time we meet, you will come here of your own accord. Until then, farewell. You were just exhausted. Hey, um, I'm sorry I wasn't helpful at all back there. But wow, that power of yours was really something. You mean the shadows? They're what we're fighting against. And that power you used, we call it Persona. Don't worry, we'll explain everything later. I'm sorry I didn't tell you before. I wanted to tell you something. I can kind of relate. To you, I mean. My dad died in an accident when I was little, and my mom and I aren't exactly on good terms. You're all alone too, aren't you? To be honest, I already heard about your past, but it didn't seem fair, so I wanted you to know about mine too. This was a while ago, but there was a big explosion in the area. Supposedly, my dad died in the blast, but nobody really knows what happened. At the time, he was working in a lab run by the Kirijo group, 
So I'm hoping if I stick around long enough, I'll find out more about it. That's why I'm going to Gekukon High. And why I was there when this happened to you. Not that I was much help. I kinda panicked. That was my first time facing them too. Sorry. You wouldn't have to go through all this if I weren't such a coward. Really? But still. Sorry for telling you all this the minute you opened your eyes. While I was waiting, I thought to myself, I've been hiding so many things from him. As soon as he wakes up, I'll tell him the truth. So thanks for listening. I've been wanting to share that story with someone for a long time. All right, I'm gonna get going. I'll let the others know you're okay. They said you could leave once you regain consciousness. So I think you're free to go home. See you! Oh, welcome back! Again on the way home. I feel responsible for that, you know? Let me make it up to you. Come on, let's go. Home safe. I'm glad you're feeling okay now. Well, I guess I'll head up first. Like I said this morning, meet me on the fourth floor. The chairman should be waiting for us. like you've recovered. I'm glad to see that. There are some things I need to discuss with you. That's why I asked you to see me so soon after your discharge from the hospital. Uh, please, have a seat. Oh, before that, I believe I mentioned his name before, but this is Sanada-kun. Hey there. Okay, let me start off by asking you this. Would you believe me? If I said that a day consists of more than 24 hours. <laughs> That's a reasonable reaction. However, you've already experienced this truth firsthand. Do you remember the night you first arrived here? You had to have noticed the signs. Street lights going out, things that stopped working, the inexplicable appearance of coffins. With so many things amiss, didn't it feel like you'd stepped into a different time? 
That's the dark hour. A time period hidden between one day and the next. I guess it's more like something people simply aren't cognizant of. But the dark hour does exist. And it occurs each night at midnight. It will happen tonight and every night to come. Normal people don't realize it, since they're all sleeping inside their coffins. But that's not what makes the Dark Hour so interesting. You saw them. Those creatures. We call them shadows. They only appear during the Dark Hour, and attack anyone who roams free outside the coffins. It's our job to defeat them. Pretty exciting, huh? Akihiko, why are you always like this? You just got hurt the other day. Now, now, he does his work well in any case. I'll get to the point. We are the Specialized Extracurricular Execution Squad. C's, for short. On paper, we're classified as a school club. But in reality, this group is dedicated to defeating the Shadows. Mitsuru Kirijo-kun is the leader, and I'm the club advisor. A shadow feeds on the mind of its prey. The victim becomes a living corpse. Apathy syndrome. I'm sure you've heard of it. We sometimes refer to those who suffer from this as the lost. They're responsible for most of the incidents on the news, if not all of them. Although rare, there are those who can function during the dark hour. Some may even awaken to a power that enables them to fight shadows. That's known as Persona, the power you called upon the other night. Shadows can only be defeated by Persona users. That means you are the only ones who stand a chance against them. I'm glad you're quick to understand. What he's trying to say is we want you to join us. We've prepared an evoker for you. We'd like you to lend us your strength. Ooh, <laughs> I was afraid you'd say no. I'm <laughs> glad to hear you're on board. Thank you so much. Truly. Oh, I almost forgot. About your room assignment. Why don't you just stay in the room you have now? I don't know what the holdup is, but I guess it worked out in the end. <laughs> Hold up? But wasn't that... Oh, never mind. I am that. Thou, thou shalt have, have our blessing, blessing when thou... Well, that's all for today. I'll follow up with you regarding our club activities later on. I apologize for tomorrow is Sunday, so take some time to relax. Well then, shall we end this meeting? You know, because it's the weekend. Shall we end? Shall we end? Get it? How have you been? <laughs> We've met before. Soon, the end will come. I remembered, so I thought I should tell you. Really? Well, if you say so. To be honest, I don't have much to tell you anyway. More importantly, it looks like you've awakened to your power. And what an unusual power it is. A power that takes many forms, yet is bound by none. It might even prove to be your salvation, depending on where you end up. Do you remember when we first met? I expect you to honor your commitment. I'm always watching you, 
even if you forget about me. Okay then, see you later. If you are, could you come downstairs? Sonata Senpai's calling for us. Okay, he's here. So what's this about? Thanks for coming. There's someone I want to introduce. Hey, hurry up. Just a sec. What? Junpei? Why are you here? Don't tell me. This is Junpei Yori from Class 2F. I'll be staying here from now on. <laughs> What's up? He's staying here? Are you sure there wasn't some mistake? I bumped into him the other night. He has the potential, but he just awakened to it recently. I told him about us, and he agreed to help out. Really? You have the potential? He found me crying like a baby at the convenience store. Surrounded by a bunch of coffins. I don't remember much, but man, that's embarrassing. But he said that's, you know, completely normal in the beginning. Like being confused and not remembering anything. Do you guys know that? Hey, what's with the tough guy act? You should know about it, since you're a Persona user and all. Man, I still can't believe it. I had no idea you guys had this stuff going on, too. Well, I'm glad I'm not the only one. Wouldn't really want to be doing this on my own. But you gotta be stoked, too, right? Having me join? What? Uh, I guess. Well, enough of the introductions. Now that our forces have increased, I think we're about ready. Ooh, we gotta go do something? Sweetness! I'm getting pumped! With this many people, we could start checking out that tower. Oh, you mean Tartarus. Tartar sauce? What? It's a place that holds the key to understanding the Dark Hour. Or so we think. The key... <sighs> the chairman will give us more details tomorrow night, so be ready. on the fourth floor when you get back to the dorm tonight. I have something to tell you all. Oh, are we having that talk already? I'll save the details for later. See you there. Damn. She doesn't waste any time. She's not like us. She's busy, you know? With the student council or whatever. Whoa, Yucatan, do I sense some hostility? It's not that I don't like her, it's just... I don't know. Okay, school day's finally over. They're probably waiting for us at the dorm, right? Let's hurry back. the accident delayed our train so much. It's already dark out. It's been happening a lot lately, though. People jumping onto the tracks. This apathy syndrome thing's getting out of control. It's like the whole world's falling apart. Crap! Everyone else is there already! You better hurry! Oh, 
Oh man, I'm getting kind of hungry. It's small rocks. So many places to chow down. Plus, they're open late. Speaking of, I heard the ramen joint upstairs has a secret late night menu. It doesn't seem like it's the last Gag, gag. All right, everyone's here. Heck yeah! Let's get right into it! Now, I'd like your undivided attention. For a long time, Kirijo-kun and Sanada-kun were the only Persona users we had. But that number has recently jumped to five. So here's the plan. Starting tonight at 12 a.m., I'd like us to finally begin exploring Tartarus. Uh, so, I asked this yesterday, but what is that Tartar thing again? It's Tartarus. You seriously haven't seen it, Junpei? Well, I mean... It's no surprise you haven't seen it. Tartarus only appears during the dark hour, after all. Only during the dark hour? Just like the shadows. Interesting, huh? The goal of our club, Seas, is to fight those shadows. However, simply defeating shadows during the dark hour isn't enough. We must get to the root of the problem. We need to destroy the dark hour itself. Uh, I don't really get it. Well, you're saying if we run around Tartarus, we can somehow get rid of the dark hour? We don't know for certain. Sorry I can't give you a better answer. But investigating the mysteries of that tower is part of our job. The bottom line is, we need more information. Everything we encounter there will be a vital clue for us. The exploration of Tartarus is of utmost importance. Consider it our top priority. Our society, while remaining blissfully unaware of the shadows, is slowly but surely succumbing to their influence. I would go as far as to say that the fate of the world rests on the shoulders of you Persona users. That's one hell of a responsibility. But the heroes of justice will prevail! It's also the perfect spot for us to train and improve our skills. That place is like a nest of shadows, you know. Whoa. Your nest, huh? But Senpai, what about your injury? Akihiko's still recovering from his wounds. He'll accompany us, but won't participate in the exploration. <sighs> yeah, I know. Relax! Oh, Junpei's got your backs. I'm not so sure about this. What about you, Mr. Chairman? I'll stay here. Not much point, anyway since I can't summon a persona. Huh? We're here? Uh, what's going on? Why are we at school? Just wait and see. It's almost midnight. This is Tartarus, the labyrinth that reveals itself during the dark hour. Labyrinth? What are you talking about? What happened to our school? Once the dark hour passes, everything will return to normal. This is the nest you were talking about? But why? 
Why'd our school turn into a giant tower? <sighs> you don't know either? No. I'm sure it's complicated. If we don't know, we'll just have to find out. Mitsuru and I have only gone in to take a peek. This will be our first time exploring it. Exciting, huh? There's gotta be something in there. Hopefully some sort of clue about the Dark Hour. Akihiko, I respect your enthusiasm, but you won't be exploring it today. I know. You don't have to keep reminding me. Just as crazy on the inside. Sure is creepy, though. This is only the entrance. The labyrinth lies beyond the doorway at the top of these stairs. First, you need to get a feel for the place. Why don't the three of you go have a look around? <laughs> what? By ourselves? We're not asking you to go very far. I'll help you navigate by feeding you information from here. We'll also need to appoint a leader to make any necessary decisions. A leader? Like, the captain of a pirate ship? I'm in! Me, 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 pick me! <sighs> You're in charge. Wait! Why him? He doesn't look like a captain! Calm down. He has experience fighting already. Wait, seriously? That's true, too, but the main reason is far more simple. Junpei, and you too, Takeba. Can either of you summon your persona without difficulty like he can? Yeah, of course I can! Me too. These are shadows we're talking about. Without your persona, you're screwed. I'm aware of that. All right, let's head inside. Are you ready, leader? That's the spirit. What's the matter? I've been waiting for you. The time has come for you to wield your power. The tower that you are about to venture into. How did it come to be? For what purpose does it exist? Regrettably, you are not yet capable of answering these questions. That is why you must be made aware of something before you go any further. You must understand the nature of your power. Your power is unique. It is like the number zero. Empty. But at the same time, holding infinite possibilities. You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. And when you have defeated your enemies, you will see the faces of possibility before you. There may be times when they are difficult to grasp, but do not fear. Seize what you have earned. Your power will grow accordingly. Be sure to keep that in mind. Now then, my spare time will soon be scarce. Next time, once again, may you open the door and come here of your own accord. I'll tell you then about my true role, the manner in which I can best assist you. Until we meet again, farewell. Hey, are you all right? Yeah, what's up? You look like a zombie. Huh? What door? Man, are you loco? Have you been nodding off? You seem kinda out of it. Dude, 
You're supposed to be our leader. Put your head in the game. We'll be following you. Come on, let's go. Leader. deal from here on, huh? Looks easy to get lost in. Can you all hear me? Whoa! Is that you, Senpai? I'll be providing audio backup from here on out. Keep that in mind. Wait, are you saying you can see this place from all the way out there? It's my persona's ability. The structure of Tartarus actually changes from day to day. I'd like to join you up there, but we need someone to provide outside support. That's even more concerning. Now, based on your current location, you can expect to encounter enemies at any time. This shouldn't be too tough, but proceed with caution. You'll get the hang of it as you go. Right. Got it. Why is she always like that? Right. Let's begin. Defeat all the shadows on that floor. I'll support you as much as I can, but it's up to you to learn something out there. Hold on. This is the first... Let's start by going over how to attack Shadow. When faced with an enemy, you have two. The second option is to use. Knowing how personas work will be. What to do? Persona! Okay. Looks like I'm up. Here goes. Check this out. Well done, Iori. Considering it was your first battle, you did well. Takeba too. You'll be fine. Don't be afraid to show what you can do. Got it. Good. Let's continue exploring. Another ship. The bat. All right. Next, most enemies have an element. Just point it to my head and pull the trigger. I can do this. Oh, you're not so bad yourself, Yukatan. That's it, Takeba. You give it a try as well. Well done. Keep that up and finish. I did it! 
Fantastic work, Takeba. You performed as well as I hoped you would. Totally. I can take my eyes off you. Can you try not being a creep? Great. Looks like everyone's gotten used to handling their personas. Leader, take note of each member's strengths and conduct the battle accordingly. I can still sense some enemies around. like those seem to be scattered all throughout Tartarus. Sometimes they contain useful items. That looks like it'll be useful. Like they try sneaking up on. <laughs> Next, I'm going to explain a tactic for defeating first. Go ahead. Take advantage of what you just learned. I've covered the basics of combat now, but the most... You, my boy, are able to possess multiple personas and summon them at will. Enemy has been defeated. Excellent work. Um, was that? Well, it looks like he has the ability to summon different personas. 
I suspected as much after the events from the other day, but now we know for sure. All right. Your chest looks different from the one before. Yes, that particular... The box can be unlocked by its own mechanism, but... What? I wonder... Not bad. Looks like you found a teleporter. Now use it. Welcome back. So, how was it? I see. Well, if you gained confidence, that's the best thing you could have achieved. Wow! I never knew I had that kind of power! But damn, why do I feel so exhausted? Because you were bouncing around like a little kid. You say that, but you look pretty tired yourself, Yukatan. This is different. It's like I'm having trouble breathing. What's going on? That's the effect of the dark hour. You'll become fatigued more easily. Don't worry. You'll get used to it. I have to say, though, I'm surprised. You all did much better than I expected. At this rate, they'll catch up to you in no time, Akihiko. <laughs> we'll see about that. Not bad. Salut. the main portion of today's assembly. Next, we'll hear a word from the student council. Please welcome the new president, Mitsuru Kirijo, from Class 3D. Thank you. So she did get elected. Well, I guess she is the most popular girl in school. You can say that again. She's got this intimidating vibe around her. Not to mention, this school's owned by the Carrijo Group, right? As I begin my term as student council president, I'd like to share with you my vision for this coming year. It is my firm belief that each of us must accept the responsibility of bettering our school. However, change cannot occur without sustained effort and an unprecedented level of commitment. That is why we must restructure our daily lives in order to rise to this challenge. I'd like each of you to dig deeply into your well of motivation and reevaluate your convictions. Strive to imagine a bold new future without losing sight of the realities around you. That is the key. My own ideas are but one person's vision. For us to reap the full benefits of our education, 
Your participation, opinions, and enthusiasm are essential. Thank you. Dang. What a speech. Do you, uh, have any idea what she just said? Sure didn't sound like something a high schooler would say. If it was anyone else, we'd be laughing our asses off. Okay, time for class. Stop by Paulonia Mall on the way back? Might want to stock up while we can, since we got stuff going on at night. And there's a pharmacy there, too. Couldn't hurt to get some meds in case anything happens. You bet I am. If we don't step up to the plate, who will? The chairman said it himself. The fate of the world depends on us. Let's go, leader. First task, escape from the school. how popular Sonata-san is with the ladies? Man, take a look at that. I guess neither of us really got to know him before all this crazy stuff happened. He's a captain of the boxing team. Never lost a single match. I know that's cool and all, but who'd have thought boxing would turn you into a chick man? I mean, come on! They're fawning on him more than a harem manga. I wonder where they're going. Hey, are you guys free this afternoon? Uh, us? Yeah, I mean, hell yeah! We love to join your little, uh, group here. We can shop later! Well, are you free or not? Yeah, of course! Uh, no problemo. I want the two of you to meet me at Polonia Mall. You know where it is, right? I'll be waiting at the police station. Got it? The, the police station? You mean, we're not hanging out with your friends? Who? These girls? No, I don't even know their names. Hearing so much chit-chat gives me a headache. Anyway, I'm going on ahead. Don't keep me waiting. Can he not know their names? I mean, seriously, just look at them. Uh, anyway, let's go. Yeah. Thank you, Kurosawa-san. I'll be taking this. Oh, these are the guys I was talking about earlier. Hmm. This is Officer Kurosawa. He helps keep our squad well-equipped. Oh, and here, this is from Ikutsuki-san. Whoa, is that our war funds? You shouldn't have. You can't fight empty-handed, so find something you like. Kurosawa-san has connections. He can secure equipment for us. But these things still cost money. Of course they do. Nothing in life is free. I realize that. Well, I'll see you later. Thanks again. I've been informed about you two. 
My job is to maintain peace in this city regardless of the circumstances. I'm just an ordinary police officer, but it doesn't take a genius to know something strange is going on here. I'm only doing what I think is right. Nothing more. If you need something, we can talk in the back. Alright. Uh-huh. Got some new things in stock. Check it out, if you've got the time. Everything looks good. It's all yours. Everything look good here? Great. It's all yours. Take as long as you need. Hmm? You finished? Come back soon. I can't believe the police station's selling weapons. What's more, they only gave us 5,000 yen. Ain't that kind of stingy? I mean, kind of saving the world. Oh crap, it's this late already? I'm gonna miss the rerun of the Lonely Shogun. I gotta go. Wow, well, about that. I'll leave the rest to you, leader. Let's meet up again. You know where. There's a ton of shops and stuff in this place, so you really should check it out while you can. All right, see you back at the dorm. Welcome back. Oh, right. 